in my name. Jesus said that there I am in their midst. And also this morning, Jesus Christ is here. The Holy Ghost is here. God Almighty is here. Angels are here. We are in the presence of God. Then we'll be going straight to the Word of God this morning. Can we go to the book of um, uh, James, about chapter 4? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to chapter 5. Let us read verse number 17. The Bible says that Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. And again he prayed, heaven and heavens gave rains, and the earth produced its crops. What I want to talk about this morning is the message about the authority we have in Christ. The authority we have in Christ. The power we have in Christ. Not that in Christ we are loaded with power. You have got authority. You have got power. In Christ you are not empty. In Christ you are not a victim. You have got power. Hear about what the Bible talks about Elijah. The Bible says that Elijah was a human being as we are. He was not an angel. He was a human being. But Elijah as a human being, the Bible says that he prayed earnestly as a one man. And the Bible says that as he prayed earnestly as one man. And the Bible says that it did not rain. By only prayers of Elijah. Elijah is one man. He was the one who closed the heavens not to rain in Israel for three and a half years. One man of God. Filled, not even filled of the Holy Ghost. One man of God. Shutting up heaven in Israel. By that time, you can even say that he did not even have a congregation. He was just one man of God shutting up the atmosphere over the land for three and a half years. Then this demonstrates authority in Christ that you have. As Christians, you have got power. Because when we say that you are the woman of God. You are the man of God. You are not the man of God alone. You are not the woman of God alone. You are the woman and you are the man of God. And God backing you up. And heavens backing you up. Then if you are a believer. A believer in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Amen. If you are a believer in Christ, that means God is backing you up. And you are not limited by what you can do. You are limited by what God can do. The Bible says that Elijah was a human being as we are. A human being, it doesn't say that there was something special with Elijah. He was a human being as you are. But he could pray earnestly and it would not rain for three and a half years. What we can do as a children of God with the authority that God has given us, with the power that God has given us, is unlimited. It's unlimited. It's just that you must know the authority that God has given us. You must know the power that God has given us. 
and you believe and you exercise that authority and you believe and you exercise that power. Jesus said in the book of Matthew, let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 18. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 18, the Bible says that. Verse number 18, truly I tell you, whatever you bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose here on earth will be lost in heaven. He's talking about the children of God. Whatever you are going to bind here on earth, as God is breaking you up, it will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose here on earth will be lost in heaven. This is talking about the authority you have. Authority that you have as a child of God that you can bind things here on earth and it is bound in heaven. If we're talking about binding, basically it is what Elijah did. He bound here on earth that it will not rain three and a half years and it did not rain. And when he wanted it to rain, he prayed again. And it rains. Amen. You know, child of God, you have to be aware of what your prayers can do. You have to be, uh, be aware with the authority that God has given us can do. Because many, it's just that you are not aware of it. You are, not, you are just not aware of it what our prayers are capable of doing, what your authority is capable of doing. When I'm talking about these things, remember young man by the name of Gideon. The Bible says that the angel of God came to Gideon and said that you mighty man of Elo, you mighty man of Elo, the angel of God is greeting Gideon and say that, you are the mighty man of Elo. And the Bible says that when the angel of God said that, Gideon says that, ah, who are you talking about as a mighty man of Elo? Gideon thinks that is the least of his family. It's coming from the least of the tribe of Israel in the tribe of Benjamin. But God sees the authority that you have given to Gideon, that the authority is too much, is capable of doing great things, but Gideon is not even aware that he's capable of doing great things. Amen. Like many Christians of today, they look at themselves, but they don't really see that they are capable of doing great things. Amen. They don't know that they are capable of doing big things. They are capable of great things. They are looking at themselves as Gideon. That they are the mighty men of God. Mighty women of God. Amen. It is time we see ourselves as God sees us. In order to perform to the level where God has given us the grace. Amen. And the Bible says that. God gave signs and wonders to Gideon so that Gideon can believe that is the mighty man of valor. And through Gideon, the nation of Israel was saved through that one man. Yes, it was the one man who did not believe that he's capable of doing things. And yet God was behind him. And God was given him authority to do great things. I'm here to say to you, child of God, God is behind you. Amen. As God is behind you, He's given us authority to do great things, to achieve great things. You just have to believe it. Amen. That you are capable of doing great things. You are capable of achieving great things. You are not the least. Amen. You are capable of doing great things. Amen. You just have, how can you not be capable of doing great things when you have got a great God by your side? Amen. When you have got the mighty God by your side. Amen. You are capable of great things. You know, the Bible talks about also when Moses was about to go and take 
over Jericho. The Bible said that he sent 12 spies. As he have sent 12 spies. The Bible say that when they are back, when they are supposed to give the report, the Bible say that the 10 of them, they were saying that, no, yes, the land is blessed. The land flows with milk and honey is true. But the people that side, they are like a giant. They are like, and they are like a grasshoppers. Amen. And it was only Joshua and Caleb who have saw, who have, who believed that they are capable of taking over Jericho. But the rest, they were seeing themselves as grasshoppers, in which God was not happy with. Because they were not seeing themselves as God sees them. Amen. They were seeing themselves otherwise. Amen. Many people, based on how they see themselves, they end up limiting God. Because the Bible says that when they say that they are like grasshoppers, God says that I will do to you as I have heard you say. I will do to you what I've heard you say. I have heard you, God have heard them saying that they were like grasshoppers, that he will do to them what he have heard them say. But to those who believed that through God they can achieve great things, through God they can do great things, God did great things with Joshua. God great things with great things with Caleb because they know that when God is by their side, they can achieve great things. Amen. Then it is time we see ourselves as God sees us. Sometimes this is the reason why we have got the Bible. Where the Bible, the Bible revealed to us that the word of God is like a mirror. As a mirror is able to reveal to us who we are in Christ. And what does God say about us? What does God think about us? Otherwise, if you don't know that, you will limit the power of God in your life. Amen. You will limit, if you don't know what God says about you and what, who you are in Christ, Many people, they limit the power of God in their life. Amen. Instead of seeing that, oh, you have got the great God by your side. You have got the mighty God by your side. You, are the, you have got the miraculous God by their side. They end up seeing themselves as grasshoppers and not seeing them and not perform the way that they are supposed to perform. Because they don't know what does the word of God says about them. Then the word of God is able to reveal to us who we are in Christ. That once we have received, we have re- the word of God have revealed who we are in Christ. We have to believe it. In order to see that power of God in our life. I'm here to say to us this morning. There is a lot of things that God has given to you. There is a lot of wonderful authority that God has given to us. We have to begin to use it in our days. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to begin to see it. We have to begin to believe it. That there is a wonderful and great authority that God has given us. Hallelujah. Amen. That you can speak and things happen. That is the kind of authority that God has given to you. The authority that you can speak. And as you speak, things happen. That's what Jesus Christ also demonstrated. What kind of authority that he has given to us. What kind of authority that he has given to you. 
Jesus Christ spoke and things happen and he was not it was not as if this was the only what Jesus Christ can do it was not as if this was only what Jesus Christ can do he was demonstrating what you are capable of that you can speak things unto being when he spoke and things happened he was showing you that this is what you are capable of that kind of authority Amen. Authority that he spoke and the tree died. Authority that he spoke and the storm stopped. Authority that he spoke and people were healed. Authority that he spoke and people were delivered. Amen. This is the kind of what you are capable of in Christ. What you are capable of in Christ, you are capable of doing great things. You are capable of doing mighty things. The authority in Christ is enormous. Many have not begun to touch it. Many have not begun to use it. Many have not yet begun to use it. But there is a lot of authority that God has given to us. I don't know whether I'm talking to somebody. Amen. Amen. There is a lot of authority that God has given to you. Begin to believe it. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saying to you, begin to do what? Begin to believe it. Believe it. Amen. Begin to use it. Amen. Begin to expect it. Amen. And you will see that authority working in your life. You will see that authority working in every sphere of your life. When you are using the authority in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to know that you are full, you are charged. You know, a child of God is like an ascent, it's like a it's like a gun which is full of bullets. A child of God is like an arsenal. This arsenal is full of bombs. But until you use that arsenal, you will never know how powerful is the gun and the powerful is the bullet. You will never know how powerful is that a sign now? Then as a child of God, according to the word of God, you are loaded. According to the word of God, you are loaded. According to the word of God, you are not empty. Just find out who you are. You know, it is so dangerous, you know, when the child of God doesn't know who they are. That's why the Bible says that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. Even by the time of Gideon, Israel was in captivity. By the time of Gideon, Israel was in captivity. They were suffering. Yet there was a mighty man of Velo who did not know that he's a mighty man of Velo who still think that he's a grasshopper, who still think that he's a nobody, who still think that he's a nobody and he cannot do much. And the Bible says that as a man thinks as though he is. The Bible says that as far as your eyes can see that I've given to you, what do you see about yourself? What do you see about being a Christian? What do you think it's all about? Then you can only perform as per what you see. You can only perform as per what you see. You can only perform up to what you think. As the Bible says that, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. What do you know about yourself? I'm trying to tell you 
when the word of God is illustrating about the great men of the word of God. The word of God was talking about you. God had you in his mind. God had you in his mind. He wanted to, re- to reveal to you what you were capable of. When God was talking about Elijah, when God was orchestrating, circumstancing about Elijah, circumstances about Jesus Christ, he had you in mind so that you may know what you are capable of. That you have got authority in Christ. That you are not just a nobody. That you are not just a nobody. But you are somebody powerful. You are somebody anointed. And this is what anointing can do. Many of the time we forget that we are anointed. Many of the time we forget that we are anointed and we have got certain level of authority in the spiritual realm. There is a certain level of authority that we have in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I am enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Then there is a level of authority that the God has given you, and that anointing is not a different anointing than what Elijah had. It is not a different anointing that what Jesus Christ had is the same spirit, is the same anointing. And Jesus Christ has promised that greater things shall we do in our days. Greater things shall we do in our time. Just that you must begin to believe it. You must allow, begin to allow the Holy Spirit to take over you and allow that anointing to begin to work in our days. So that you can begin to see the results of the Spirit. Don't allow yourself to be so loaded and never see the results of the anointing. Just because you are not using using it. Begin to exercise your faith. Begin to exercise. Begin to exercise it. So that you can see the results of it. Hallelujah. Begin to exercise it. Let's exercise that authority in Christ. Authority in Christ. Authority in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Anyway, can you say my day is blessed? My day is Bless. My family is blessed. My family is blessed. Say my career is blessed. My career is blessed. Our countries are blessed. Our country are blessed. Everything is turning around for my good. Everything is turning around for my good. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be broke in my life. I will never be broke in my life. Prosperity is mine. Prosperity is mine. Favor is mine. Say, devil, take off your hands from from my everything. My everything. Say, I lose angels now. Angels. Bring my harvest. 
my miracles, my testimonies, my jobs, angels, usher me everywhere I go. In everything that I do, represent me, present me in the name of Jesus. Say, so Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Protect me from today. From today, I am born again. I am saved. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's very, very much important during the word of God that you you expect it receive it and apply it anyway have a blessed and a successful day in Jesus name bye Amen. bye Amen. everybody have a blessed morning day and afternoon and night Amen bye bye bye